David came to the AFI from the Philadelphia Art Institute. He had an unusually close relationship with us then. He lived in the stables at Greystone. I'm told he was locked in every night, <laughs> truly, so the night watchman wouldn't throw him off the property. From his first film, Eraserhead, which is going to be released this summer, re-released, to Elephant Man, Blue Velvet, Wild at Heart, and of course, television's Twin Peaks, Mr. Lynch has shown us again and again that he is a gifted and original filmmaker. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to introduce the first recipient of the Franklin J. Schaffner Medal, director David Lynch. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, through uh, good fortune, I had the chance uh, to meet uh, Mr. Schaffner on a few occasions up at AFI. And every time I talked to him, he always uh, struck me as a, a kind of Gary Cooper-like mixture of uh, strength and sensitivity. And uh, he seemed to me a man of uh, great dignity and kindness. And you don't need to be reminded of what a great director he was, both in films and uh, television. So. It's a great honor for me to accept this award, uh, the first award uh, given in his name. Also, I'd like to thank uh, uh, Gene Schaffner for uh, getting this award going and the American Film Institute for voting uh, the award to me and especially the American Film Institute for all they've done for me through the years, uh, especially in the beginning. And uh, I'd like to thank in particular uh, Jeannie Furstenberg, George Stevens Jr., uh, the late Tony Villani, uh, Frank Danielle, and uh, Roman Hart, David Kasky, and the guy who let me live in those stables, uh, the keeper of the gatehouse, Jim King. <laughs> uh, thank you very much. <laughs> 